Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. How about a quick review of verb tenses in English? Actually, that could be a really short lesson because there are only two tenses, present and past. We use the simple present for things that are true now or true all the time. The earth is round. The earth goes around the sun. I speak American English. We also use the simple present for present habits or regular actions. I share videos on social media. The simple past is for things that existed or happened in the past. The simple past can refer to finished actions. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco opened in 1937. The simple past can refer to a closed period of time. Many girls dressed like Madonna in the 1980s. So we have two tenses, present and past. Then we have something called aspect. Simple is one. Another is progressive. Progressive verb forms show continuation. Progressive verb forms show that an action is, was, or will be in progress. The present progressive uses am, is, or are plus the present participle, that ing form. For example, I'm wearing a microphone right now so that you can hear well. But when we use the present progressive, the present action may not be taking place at the moment of speaking. It may simply be unfinished. For example, I'm reading a new book now. I'm about a third of the way done. Also, the present progressive can be used for a temporary situation. Maybe you're taking the train to work this week because your car is being repaired. The past progressive uses was or were plus the present participle, the ing form. I was doing housework when you called. The past progressive might also suggest repetition in the past, like a past habit. My grandmother was always baking something. Her kitchen always smelled good. I can use an adverb of frequency to emphasize that the action took place frequently. One, can you keep it down? I'm trying to write an email. Sorry, I'm hungry. I'm using the blender to make a smoothie. Two, what are you holding in that photo? Are those drumsticks? I didn't know you play. I was holding them because my friend asked me to, just for a second. So we've covered simple and progressive verb forms. Another aspect is perfect. And yes, we can have perfect progressive forms as well. The present perfect uses have or has plus the past participle, the ed form, that third form of an irregular verb. The present perfect often shows a connection between the past and the present. There's some sort of result or effect that's present. I've studied some Japanese, so I know a few words. We can use the present perfect to refer to general past experience, past actions, without naming a specific point in time. I've visited New York City several times. Have you been there? Finally, the present perfect can suggest that a past action will repeat again at some point in the future. I visited Canada a few times. I'd love to go back. The past perfect uses had 
plus the past participle, the ed form or that third form of an irregular verb. The past perfect isn't used as much as the simple past in American English, but we can use the past perfect to clarify that one action took place before another action in the past. So the past perfect refers to the first of two past actions. I had never tried mussels before I visited Belgium. Both the present perfect and the past perfect have progressive verb forms. We often use the present perfect progressive and the past perfect progressive to measure time. I've been drinking a green smoothie every day since the start of the year. So it began in the past and it continues to now. For how long? Since the start of the year. I had been working on a steamboat for a few months before I decided to apply to graduate school. What happened first? Working. Then I applied to graduate school. I'm saying how long this first action took place. I had been working for a few months and then I decided to apply to graduate school. How long had it been taking place up to that second point in time. One, my friend has lived in Massachusetts all her life. Two, I feel great. I've been sleeping better ever since I made a health plan for the year. Three, on the weekend I went bowling with friends. No one explained the rules because they assumed we had played before. So what about the future? Sometimes, for convenience, we say future tenses. I've done that. But technically, there isn't a future tense. We just have verb forms that allow us to talk about the future. Will is a helping verb, a modal verb. Will plus the base verb allows us to refer to future actions and events. The next Olympic Games will be in Paris. Will can be used for intentions, predictions, and promises. I will continue to exercise every day. What else can we use for the future? Be going to. Am, is, or are going to do something. I'm going to learn basic Spanish. I promised myself. In addition, we can use the present progressive to talk about the immediate future, including intentions and plans. I'm going to the theater with my friend this weekend. We bought tickets to a musical. The simple present also allows us to refer to the future. We can use the simple present for scheduled events in the future. We're going to a theater in Boston this Sunday. The show starts at 6.30. You may be curious about other future verb forms. We can talk about the future progressive and the future perfect, but these verb forms are a little less common. The future progressive refers to an action in progress at a future point in time. There are two possible forms. Will be plus the present participle, the ing form. We won't eat before the show, They'll be serving light refreshments at the theater. Or be going to be. They're going to be serving light refreshments at the theater. The future perfect refers to an action that will take place before a future point in time. This form uses will have plus the past participle. Don't send the package to that address. It won't get there in time. 
he will have moved by then to his new apartment. The future perfect progressive allows us to talk about how long an action will be in progress up to a future point in time. We use will have been plus the present participle. My friend came to the U.S. in 2000. By the end of this year, she will have been living here for 23 years. One, what time does your plane take off? Two, I can give you a ride. I'll meet you at the airport. When you land, give me a call. Three, my cousins will be staying with me next weekend. Come over and I'll introduce you. That was a lot to cover in a short amount of time. I hope you found the review helpful. Please remember to like and share the video. Remember, you can go beyond my videos as a channel member. I'd like to thank all the members of my channel here on YouTube, as well as all the kind-hearted patrons on Patreon. I invite advanced learners to join me as lifelong learners on Patreon. All links are in the video description. As always, I thank you everyone for watching and I wish you happy studies. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Turn on those notifications.